550. We'll call the meeting to order. Uh, Lisa will not be here this evening. She had a conflict, so it's just be the four of us. So first item of business is to look at the uh, report of the minutes from uh, last meeting, which was November 1st. You all saw it yep. email. I got it in my email. Mm -hmm. Any corrections or omissions or anything like that? Move to accept as written. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 You good so far? I'm good so far. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do I put next on the agenda? What's it say? It says establish meeting schedule. All right, good deal. And important dates. So, what you have in front of you, did I give it to you? No, I gave you something else. Sorry, here. This is a meeting schedule, proposed meeting schedule. Basically, what I did was I cut and pasted, plagiarized Susan's schedule from last year okay. ah, with her permission. Mm -hmm. uh, changed the dates. Hopefully, I got them right. Um, this basically just sets up a tentative schedule for our meetings for the next uh, until town meeting basically so you'll see that starting in January we, we sort of go to every other week meetings from once a month starting in February we uh, then meet weekly with the department heads mm -hmm. because that's when they're asked to bring in their their budget requests and they make a presentation to us we schedule meetings uh, usually three or four departments at a time uh, we go through that, and then for the month of March, we meet, again, roughly weekly, uh, last half of March, first week in April or so. Uh, Barbara comes in and tells us what we can and cannot spend for money and that sort of thing, and then uh, we, we put together the budget. So I, a couple of points I will make. Um, this is all very tentative. I will say that I would at least two or three of these meetings just won't happen because we won't have something going on or mm -hmm. we'll get snowed out or something like that. So there's some kind of built-in fluff in mm -hmm. here. So don't get freaked out when you see this many dates to put on your calendar. Um, secondly, all of these dates right now are still listed on Monday because that's what we've done typically, but I don't know what uh, Elizabeth, the new town administrator, is going to want to do. I don't know if she's going to want to meet, you know, join us at our meetings, uh, and, and she will obviously be... Uh, our, uh, already booked with the selectmen on Monday nights, so mm -hmm. we may need to switch our night to a different night. Okay. Um, I tentatively scheduled our next December meeting uh, for Wednesday, December 13th. That was more because Lisa said that was a good day for her. So, um, Fine, because, if, because if we went with kind of the same rotation we're in right now, it would be December 20th, which I thought was a little too close to Christmas sure. for, for folks, so, or December, I forgot it was 18th, I guess. So. Uh, so if that one's okay, we'll, we'll just keep that one on the 13th, and then mm -hmm. we'll kind of play it by ear from there. Um, so what we'll do at that meeting is we will finalize our letter that goes out to the department heads, which we'll look at in a second. Mm -hmm. um, we send it out to them usually the last week of the year and or the first week of the new year. We ask, we give them roughly four weeks to get it back to us. Most of them don't have a problem with that. They turn it around pretty quickly. They've got the stuff, you know, pretty easily accessed, and they can just kind of turn it right around. So then they get it back to us by the first of February, uh, and then we that following week, whether it's Monday or Wednesday, whatever it is, we'll we'll just kind of meet with the board select and just to sort of bring them up to speed on what things look like from the different departments. If there's been something that's you know, really out of line with what, uh, you know, what has happened in the past, if something, if a particular department is expecting some sort of a, you know, unusual expense, or they have a, a new uh, program that they want to implement that hasn't been funded in the past, that they'd like us to try and fund, that sort of thing. So we'll give them an initial uh, heads up on that first uh, week in February, and then, like I said before, we'll go um, from there on the department head meetings. So that's kind of how this looks again all very tentative definitely will change um, so this just sort of gives you all a rough idea so you can sort of block out the dates mm -hmm. keep it in mind uh, next item that you have is the letter that we sent out last year uh, this is the cover letter that goes out with the 
department heads. So basically what happens is, uh, if you look on the screen, I think I can bring one up. So this, um, when we update, when we update our budget, our, you know, we, we have a, a, a sheet that we work with, and each particular uh, department will have a sheet generated for it based on what was approved at town meeting last year. So, uh, and, it, and you can see up here, it has the, the line numbers where they fall on the budget. So, um, let's see. get a juicy one here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Fire police are going to be biggies. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't really break it down too yeah. much. So, um, well, anyway, Highway. these these automatically generate, it, it, and it will print out what they what they spent in seventeen, what was approved in seventeen, what was approved in eighteen, uh, and then this this column will be changed obviously till nineteen, and we ask them to put their new title in. Mm -hmm. So, and then and then if they have any notes on on the side, so this is the. Thing it gets automatically generated. We send it out to them at the end of December along with this cover letter. Mm -hmm. So the cover letter, uh, I don't. I mean, it, you know, it is what it is. I don't think there's any real need to change any wording or anything. But I would like your input. Obviously, we have to change the names of the committee. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Catherine, you were going to be the representative for the accountants, board of selectmen. And I added the town administrator to that because that kind of goes along with board selection. Sure. Eric, you had highway and treasure corruptor. Does that sound familiar? Sounds all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve, you had the Dennett School, uh, the assessors and the veterans. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lisa had library, town clerk, board of health and council on aging. I had police, fire, and the building department. So the one big omission is the uh, Silver Lake Regional. Uh, School. School district, and uh, we can kind of make that a jump ball. I think we had talked at the time, hopefully the administrator, the town administrator, once he or she was hired, would uh, be attending those meetings. So we'll still hope for that. But again, she hasn't even started yet, so <laughs> we don't want to dump it on her just yet. We'll give her till next week. <laughs> <laughs> when she start? When she start? Next week. Next week. Week from today, I think, she starts. So... Um, so again, if you, yeah, if you just want to read through that real quick and see if there's anything in there that jumps out at you, um, we'll make the budget request due to the committee by Tuesday, January 30th. Um, actual deadline, if you look at the other sheet, is uh, the Thursday of that week, which is when the town hall you know, closes. It's open Monday through Thursday. Um, but we put in the letter Tuesday to kind of give folks a couple of days to get it into our mailbox and things. We'll eliminate that wording that says new for this year because it won't be new, obviously. Mm -hmm. But we'll ask, we'll just remind them that we have a staff salary expense line if they should uh, list separately. Is there anything in there that anybody thinks we need to add or would like to see or explained better? Or <laughs> okay. Second page is is just the schedule that we followed last year. So uh, the dates are last year's dates. Last year's dates, exactly. I just so, compared them. So they'll be they'll be updated. Um, we tried one less. To there's a couple of reasons we we listed them in the order that we listed them. Uh, we try to get the school committee in fairly early in the process because they tend to be a, a big number and we need to sort of figure out what to do. Mm -hmm. um, they may or may not be ready 
I mean, they were last year. They came in no problem by the end of February. So I, I would hope that they'll be able to do that again this year. Um, and then we try to break up some of the other ones. Like we separate police and fire uh, again because there's usually some discussion and highway. Those those three. There's usually a lot of discussion that goes into it because there's a lot of lines. Mm -hmm. You know, highway also does the uh, transfer station and that sort of thing. So there's there's usually a fair amount of discussion. Uh, some of the other ones are pretty straightforward. Um, so we try to do a mix and match between departments that we know we're going to have conversations with and some we think are going to go fairly quickly. So we, we mix and match. Um, again, I don't see any reason to just not change the dates and, and send this out sure. again. But um, if, if, you can, if you know any reason to change any of those, send it along. Otherwise, I'll just you know, change the dates and send it out. Um, also, if you see, if, when you look at this calendar, when you get home or whatever, you look at it right now. I, I, I think I missed all the holidays. I, I skipped Martin Luther King Day and I skipped President's Day. Um, so I don't think there's anything in there that conflicts otherwise. Monday, February 1st, Monday and February is on the 12th. Uh, that was traditionally, what, uh, Lincoln's birthday? But they do all presidents now, so. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's why we skip a week there. We go from the 12th to the 26th, because yeah. I think the 19th is the holiday. Is the mm -hmm. holiday. Sorry. Have that right. Okay, cool. So then last, uh, what we have up on the screen again is uh, this is our first pass budget sheet for for um, fiscal 19. All I did was I copied the numbers from last year. These are the numbers in this column here. Uh, these are the numbers that were actually approved at town meeting. So what I did was I took those numbers in this column and I just uh, added in a lot of cases 2% or two and a half percent. Two percent if it was a salary line, um, two and a half percent if it was something else, because that's kind of the max we can go anyway. So it just wanted to give us a rough idea of what things would look like. So this is this is what this is. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom here, our uh, total projected budget would be 10 six. Um, versus 10, you know, 355 last year at mm -hmm. proven town meeting. So that's, you know, right now an 8% increase, which means nothing, honestly, because we have no idea where some of this stuff is going to go. Mm -hmm. uh, again, school school numbers can be, can be up or down. They can swing pretty wildly depending on if we have a special needs student that, that we need to take care of that we maybe haven't had in the past. Um, so again, that, you know, as they come on or off, move into town, move out of town, that can that can pretty greatly uh, uh, change our numbers. What's I think because eight percent seems like a big increase the wrong than what it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it is. I, okay. I didn't check the formula. It's, it should be closer to. It should be less than two actually, because yeah. a lot of them are zeros. Yeah, it's using the wrong. It's pulling the wrong numbers. Gotcha. So. Okay. I was doing well, it was just doing, ago. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, fair enough. I was just doing it in my head. I'm like, no, I appreciate off. that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I appreciate that. I'll fix it, I promise. Um, I used to. Anyway, so uh, so that's kind of just uh, just a ballpark, just to sort of give us some numbers to play with. Uh, from there, I took the, the revenue numbers that Barbara gave us uh, mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago and plugged them in here. Um, again, a lot of these are subject to change. You know, the cherry sheets will will change. We won't get necessarily what we're expecting here. Um, and the new growth number, you know, we were plugging in at 75, but it has, you know, it was 97 last year, so that can fluctuate up or down. I don't know if she has a better number for that um, with things the things going on in the assessor's department, um, people coming and going, so. Um, again, it's just basically to give us a ballpark. The place to start. Assessors, uh, much of their stuff comes out of out of uh, the contractor that, that does the, mm -hmm. the reassessing. So. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't even know what we have for for new growth. You yeah. know, we don't. We have. I don't. 
I don't anymore either. Really. Yeah, I mean, we don't. We don't. Last year, I know. We go with what they tell us. So, <laughs> so we're, we're we're projecting seventy five because that's kind of where it's been trending. But you know, hopefully, it'll be a little bit more. Um, so any so anyways, you take this number 12, 12 million three, you subtract the ten six, and it looks like we're doing really well. <laughs> <laughs> but again, obviously, this is just this is just uh, funny numbers right now. Um, and this doesn't include any warrant articles that we that we you know put to the town meeting floor, which always comes up at you know four or five hundred thousand dollars easily. Last year we had the additional half a million for the for the police station. So last year was you know one point two million. No, mm -hmm. we're not going to be that high because obviously we we're not going to have another half a million for the police station. But you can see some of the other ones that that, that came through. Um, so. We haven't even broken ground on yet. So, anyway, that's kind of where we stand as of today. Okay. Uh, it, it's just a, it's just a, a basis to give us room for discussion, and then going forward, as we get these sheets back from the departments, we plug it in and uh, and see what they see what they do. To the bottom line. Mm -hmm. Any questions on any of this stuff? This is Excel. This is Excel. Anything else on there? No. Our 20 minute meetings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. All right, can we pause for a second, please? Uh, if you can put enough together and you know, get your butt. But. Okay. We got nothing for mail. Okay. Just usual junk mail. Um, I really don't have anything else. Is there anything that anyone here has for discussion or questions, points, whatever? No. December 13th, okay for everybody for our next meeting? Sure. Wednesday night? Mm -hmm. Should be good for them. I'm flexible. <laughs> yeah. At least I scheduled it before choir, so it's, yeah. it's on for 6 o'clock. Yeah, so we And given that our meetings last about 20 minutes, we're... I'll be out of here before that. Yeah, if you, but if you try that in February, it might not make it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, then if, if there's no other business, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. 13 December. Yes. Steve, so moved. So moved. Eric? Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. All right. See you next week. All right.